Hello and welcome to a game of Captain Ali Plays FTL. Um, it's been ages since I actually played FTL. Um, so I think it might have been updated a bit. And I'm not entirely sure if I have the Captain's... I have the Advanced Edition installed, but I'm not sure if I have the Captain's Edition installed. So let's go over our ship lists. We have a few options. Um, boom, 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 boom. Choices, choices, and I don't do too well. Choices. If I want to go for the Mantis Cruiser, then I can unlock it by defeating defeat the flagship with any layout of the Zoltan Cruiser. Okay, so then we might as well try and take the Zoltan Cruiser and see what layouts we have for that. So we have three crew for this one. Three crew for that one, weapons, two iron blasts and a pike beam, which is good for the early game, but troublesome later on. And sea layout, okay, that's just uh, iron weaponry and a beam drone. Mm, I don't really like that one. So I think I'm going to go for... I don't know which one I'm going to go for. Halberd beam and Lito. How many does the Halberd be pierce? Uh, only two, so that isn't that great. But Pike Beam doesn't pierce at all, I think. No, it doesn't. But useless power. So I think I'm going to be using that one. And we're going to be playing on normal. I could customize this. How are we going to call the ship? Rename. Let's call it the Lettuce. And... Let's just keep our crew with the regular names because I can't be arsed to change their names. Also, I might actually get attached to my peeps and that is probably not the best idea. Okay, so let's save default locations. They don't have any skills, right? No, they don't. And we don't have any power to our engine. Wait, what? Oh, okay. I was kind of confused. Apparently the game was paused, which meant I couldn't jump. Let's see, we have 10 scrap, we have... Yeah, we're gonna need to spike beam if we wanna do any damage to anything. We're gonna have to rely on our assault and shields for the first few jumps until we can actually get a proper shield up. It looks like we've got a Mantis Cruiser, shouldn't be too much of an issue. They got their shields first. Uh, if I can keep the shields down. Okay. That was actually very poorly aimed, but it's quite alright. Oh, we actually took some damage there. I do not approve of that. Let's see. Yeah, I can actually aim this even better if I... Yeah, there we go. Should have done that the first time around, but I didn't. And that's them gone. Took one hit point of damage, but that's quite alright. So, let's see. A distress beacon or a nebula? I really dislike nebulas because they play havoc with my power. So I'm gonna go for a distress beacon first. Ooh, beam weapon. Always nice if you have a blue option. And we got some scrap for that. Uh, another Distress Beacon. Let's keep going at them then. You have encountered a refugee ship drifting in space. It looks like it was fleeing from the Rebel Advance and it ran out of fuel. The Distress Beacon is active but you're not sure anyone is on board. Uh, might be risky but I'm gonna investigate. We find one surviving crewman in the freezer. So we got a new crew member, which is nice, I suppose. Wait, is he? What the? I don't see him in our ship. What? Oh, he's actually here. Okay, never mind. He was so gray, I couldn't see him. <laughs> uh, actually, I should get you on the shields. 
Not that we do have any shields, so actually that's completely useless. Better to get you working on the sensors then. Uh, I could go to the store. Yeah, I'm probably gonna do that. I might stock up on some stuff, maybe get a new weapon or something. And let's see what we have here. Um, L missile, halberd beam. We couldn't power that even if we wanted to. FDL jammer. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think there's much that we can pick up here that might be useful. We have enough fuel and we don't really need drone parts or weapons, so just a bit of repair. Can we jump? Yeah, we can jump from there to the exit point. Apparently it's a quarantined planet. Seriously, in our shop? I'm gonna try this beacon first, see if we can find any more scrap to trade with. They need to take possession of an enemy ship intact. Let's offer our services. But we are not properly equipped. That's kind of a shame. Uh, I'm thinking what the most optimal path might be. We have to pause the distress beacon anyway. So I think the best way to do this is jump to this location, go to the store, then to the distress beacon, then to the exit. And we have enemies. They have a missile launcher, but we have Zoltan shield, so that's fine. And they have... I don't know what this is. Heavy laser, I think. Yeah, heavy laser and mist. Oh, both of their weapons missed. That's kind of nice. So let's, yeah, get their shields offline. Doesn't really matter, because shield will absorb that. And let's see. How can we best cut this... Baby opener. It's always tricky to get the ideal AS firing angle for the lasers. We get six missiles, nine scrap, and two drone parts, none of which is really useful to us, so nope, they're going to die. And I'm gonna get an ion blast. Aiming at something. Something seems to be slowing down the system. This is definitely new. Might be that I'm recording and that might be the reason why it's slowing down. Still, it's somewhat odd. No shields, no, don't get back up. Bad shields, you have to stay down. And that's the end of that particular pirate. Still had three. Okay, we got a chief for that. That's nice. Uh, so store was the next stop, and we have 50 scrap, so shopping is possible, hopefully. Some drones, which is useless because we don't have any drone base. Oh, I would love to pick up this burst laser, sadly, I don't have a scrap for it. Empty bio beam, this is interesting. No physical damage, but rip through organic matter. But I assume the shields would have to be down. And yeah. How many power? How much power does it use to it's the same as the beam? I would potentially pick up quite a bit more scrap if I take this one. It's risky, but I'm gonna try it. So instead of the pike beam, we're actually gonna use the anti bio beam, which means that we might have to take a bit more punishment. But it would actually be worth it if we can take ships intact. Okay, these guys need to be helped, so we're gonna help them a bit and get some scrap. You pick up an automated message from a nearby space station. They appear to be a local shipwright that can perform emergency work on military ships. Yeah, they can't really do anything because they don't have any scrap. Next sector it is! And it's a nebula sector. Because reasons. Um, I'm gonna go 
this away. Nothing to be seen. So then we go this way. Ah, oh, shit, Ion Storm. I really hate these. Um. We could fight them, but I have to be fighting them without a medical bay. Uh, but I do have oxygen, I do have my weapon systems. Actually, I think I can do this. Let's try it. I hope they miss their first few shots. That would definitely help me, but we'll just have to wait and see. It's also kind of annoying that I don't know exactly where the people are on that ship because we have no sensors. Didn't really think that one through. Let's see. What is the range on this thing? So, logically, we can assume that there's someone at the helm. And I cut through most of the ship this way, so let's try and do that. Actually, they have no helm. I assume this was a helm. Oh, they have a medical bay. This was actually quite ill advised because they have a medical bay, so my anti bio beam is kind of useless. And my ship is on fire. That's even worse. This might be a very short trip. Um, I'm actually gonna cancel weapons, put everything on the engines and try to get out if I can. And you should probably go fix the O2. Okay, still a fire in the shield section, but it should be dying down soon. We're gonna take quite a bit of damage now. Oh, that's just plain mean. You go help there, you're not doing anything anyway. And there goes Helm, fuck. Helm is more important, go fix the Helm. Yeah, okay, that's good, now you go heal. Okay, you go work on engines. You go fix this. Oh, maybe I should, yeah. Oh, fucking hell, the O2 again. Oh, and we have a hole in our ship. That's kind of annoying. I hope we don't encounter combat in the next jump. Okay, let's jump away before anything hit. Oh, thank god, a store. Okay, let's fix ourselves up, because that was quite bad. And by quite bad, I mean absolutely atrociously bad. That did not go down well at all. Um, we need oxygen. So that, especially with all the holes in our ship. We're quite leaky. Oh, Jesus Christ. Go heal, guys. Oh, yeah. No O2. Damn, son, this isn't good. Okay, O2 is back online. Go fix the shields. Although we don't really have any shields, but still. And everyone, back to your positions. You go heal first. Actually, I'm gonna get you on the doors now, because, well, obviously, there's no point on you being in the sensors. And we're we'll gonna save those locations. What is this? Hostile enemy, yeah. Hostile enemy that we didn't manage to hit at all. I'm gonna go with the pike beam until we actually clear the nebula, because the bio beam is useless if I can't actually target their crew members. And we're gonna be attacked again. Well, balls. Let's wait for the pike beam to actually charge. And go. Oh, they have a teleporter. And as soon as the Sultan shields go down, this could turn out to be quite nasty. Um. I'm gonna go along this angle, I think. Although they're and actually their weapons might be more annoying. Let's go with the weapons first. It did help that we managed to take a teleporter down. Mm. 
No shields for you, sir. Oh shit, something teleported in. And they're trying to run away, which they might actually succeed in doing. Um, trying to lay that, actually aim for the helm. And, okay, they're trying to break into the weapons area. Uh, you two probably should help that near the front. Oh shit, I totally forgot about that. Should have kept the door guy in his place. And I didn't. I think these guys might actually manage to escape. That would be quite annoying. Okay. It's gonna be closer. No, we got him. Okay. Uh, you should probably go fix that. Because now we're just venting atmosphere and I can't close the bloody door. Ah, uh, you dare go help him a bit. Okay, that's better. Everyone back to their positions, you go heal a bit. We got a few scrapes out of that particular encounter, but it's quite alright. Where did you get damage from? Oh, you probably walked through that, yeah. That thing was still venting atmosphere, that was not the best of ideas, I do admit. Um, I don't like this sector, so I'm gonna try and get to the exit as quickly as possible. I'm not sure if that's gonna work out alright, but... It's the best idea I have, so I'm gonna go with that. Okay, they missed two of their shots, that's nice. I'm hoping I'm not gonna miss. And I did miss, this is annoying. Sultan's shield's nearly down. Oh, for fuck's sake, I'm having really rotten luck here. Uh, we don't have any shields anyway, so that's quite okay. Okay, finally. I can actually shoot them now. Um, shields are probably the most annoying bit, so I'm gonna go with this angle of attack. You should probably go for the engines. Ouch. Oh, they're recharging their shields. Okay, let's finish this guy. And then you fix the O2. I said you fix the O2. You guys fix the shield. Uh, Aki should probably go heal. Okay, everyone back to your stations. And we should probably get some power into the O2. Because otherwise we might suffocate, and I don't really feel like suffocating. Um, we're starting to get really low on fuel, I don't like that. And we have intruders on board. This is gonna be quite annoying. Okay, you just hold that until everyone else gets into position. You go heal now. Oh, we actually have four of them. Or do we have, I think we have three of them. Okay, wait. Someone else is getting low. You are getting low. Zoltan are really crappy combatants, by the way. Oh, no. It's this guy that's getting low. Actually, I'm gonna do this slightly differently. Um, you go that way. You actually go that way as well. Open every fucking door on the ship, except the ones to the med bay. And to the door section, and maybe to the O2 as well. And hopefully this will convince them that you should probably get to this area. And it's a bad idea to be walking around in the ship. Yeah, okay, they're fighting in the medbay now. This is really nice. Alright, close all the doors, and we won! Yippee! Scoops, go heal a bit. Yeah, 
And I'm an idiot that sent them back to their station slightly too soon and they all took some suffocation damage. Why are... Oh, Jesus Christ. That's the problem with Zoltan. You always have to keep a close eye on the power consumption because with those guys moving around the place, power shifts all over the place. Okay, bet you go heal a bit. Ah, uh, full health. Now the other guy. Okay, ready to jump. And I'm gonna go straight for the exit. Yeah, there's no shop to be seen, so... Um, civilian sector or abandoned sector? I think the civilian sector. Oh, we have a store. Thank the lords, we're, we're basically running on fumes at this point. Um, let's go with fix all and get us a bit of fuel. This anti-bio beam was sort of a mistake, wasn't it? I'm gonna get you on sensors and let's actually try and get some use out of this anti-bio beam. Oh, come on, we have a Zoltan shield! This ain't fair. And we're starting to run low on fuel again. Ooh, we still 600 parts for a lot of scrap. I approve of this plan. Um, well, we do have a quest beacon here. And I have two fuel left, so I can either go back to the store and get more fuel, or try and hope that we do get some fuel before we get to the quest beacon. I'm gonna risk it. Oh, for fuck's sake! An iron storm, seriously? And intruders! Alright, uh, let's go with the same drill as last time. You go reinforce the doors, everyone else get to Met Bay. Power consumption wise, um, we don't need weapons, so those can go offline. We do need O2, and we need the med bay. Also, open all doors, specifically this one and that one. Oh, and probably close that door as well. That would be a good idea. Uh, and, and these doors. Uh, very much these doors. Aw, oh, fuck, they're trying to destroy the O2. Okay, they gave up. That's a good thing. That's a really good thing. Oh shit, they've broken. Close all doors. This guy's in trouble. Um, Start running towards med bay. Okay, you guys, well, or two of you anyway. Go ahead towards the doors, you go heal. You go play backup. But it's getting low, so you go heal and you get in there. You go there. Switch through, you go heal, you go in. Okay, excellent. Everything's peachy. Sort of anyway. Okay, everyone back to their positions except for scoops because he needs to heal a bit. Okay. Should be A okay now. Uh... Yeah, anti bio beam is going to be quite useless against this guy. And he's got lots of drones which I don't really like at all. Um, so, yeah. My shield's gonna be taken off care of quite quickly, and that's not a good thing. Shield's down, and Pike Beam isn't up yet. Make it fire this. And get ready on Pike Beam. Please don't miss, please don't miss. Okay. Thank the Lord. 
Okay, that's at least one of those drones down. That's a good start. Ah, that other drone is being really quite annoying. Oh, Jesus Christ, the O2 is out. I don't like the O2 being out at all. Would you stop firing at my bloody ship? Come on, finish them. Yeah, okay, finally. Go repair the O2. Okay, that's finished. Uh, got some scrap out of that. We actually have quite a bit of scrap, so unless there's a shop in range, I'm probably gonna upgrade some systems. And we got a bit of fuel, which is also quite useful. Uh, you might want to go heal a bit, mate. And you are full health, that's good, so you can work on the sensor systems. And everyone back to their stations. Good. Um, there is a store. It is kind of risky, but I'm going to do it anyway. Mm, fire suppression. That's nice. I don't really want the shield bypass. Missile launcher, not really what I'm looking for. Not really anything that's of much use to me. Okay, just gonna fix up the ship, get a bit of fuel. And then upgrade the ship itself. I would love to get actual shields, but that's quite expensive. I'm just gonna get a few power bars first. Maybe a bit extra dodge. Yeah, I think that's gonna help us a bit. And we got some extra fuel and scrap, which is nice. You might be wondering why I didn't go for the quests first instead of the store. Um, I figured that there might be a wholesale encounter if I went for the quest first, and considering the ship wasn't in too great a shape. Kinda didn't want to risk it. Um, yeah, trading fuel for drones is not a good idea. The reverse I would love to do, but yeah, sadly, that's not gonna happen. The stress beacon? Okay. Yeah, if I give them the fuel, I'm fucked, so no thank you. There is a new store, though. Uh, I'm gonna get a bit more fuel before I proceed any further. I would love to pick up cloaking, but obviously that's not gonna happen anytime soon. I'm barely getting by as it is. Uh, NG or Zoltan? Well, considering the fact I am Zoltan, I would probably want to go there. A store but we don't have that much crap so I'm gonna check the nebula first mmm he's got two shields so I really can't do well actually I can because I have two iron blasts actually they have two iron blasts the entire time and then I managed to use that, that would be ridiculously stupid and then you would have probably been screaming at me the entire video. If that was the case, I'm so terribly sorry. Okay, Pike Beam is pretty much charged up at this point, so... Yeah, 
And one of them missed. Bloody typical. Well, there go the Zoltan shields. And there go the weapon systems. I think I'm gonna have to run here. Unless these next two hits are right on it. Yep, and that's the engines on fire. Yeah, I'm gonna have to bugger out if my engines actually last long enough for me to do that. You go firefight a bit. And you go heal. Yep, time to jump. Time to freaking jump! Wow, I can't believe we actually made that jump. The engines died as we made it. Ah, uh, life form scanner, blah blah blah. Ooh, slug would be useful. But um, let's fix the ship first and get some fuel. And I continue fixing the ship. Yeah, let's get. Oh, Jesus Christ. We have some pretty major holes in our hull, apparently. Might want to fix that. Yeah, go heal a bit. It's gonna take a while before we have that entirely fixed up. I also love how you pay for ship repairs, but they don't actually repair the holes in your ship. <laughs> Seems kind of an obvious thing to do though. Well, looks like my crew is getting rather good at fixing stuff, for obvious reasons. Uh, yeah, I might not want to stand there and die slowly. That would be a bad idea. So, yeah, I think I'm gonna stop here. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna probably continue later on. But.